Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, I'm gonna to be trying out this product right here. I'm gonna bring you over to the bench, show you what it's all about. And uh, I'll be putting this on my 2010 F-150. And I've looked at these for the longest time. Never knew whether I actually needed it or whether it's a good idea. So I'm gonna install this on my truck today. And uh, you let me know if you think it's a good idea too. So let's just take a look at this first. Well, this is it right here, and you can see it's got a uh, an O-ring on there. And all you do is you screw this into your oil pan and take the existing oil pan plug out. And uh, this has a nice little cap that goes in the end for when you're draining the oil. And of course, it's got this little lever here that you just press down, swing over, and it drains your oil out. So you no longer have to take your drain plug in and out all the time. So I think it's a pretty nifty idea and it seems to be very well constructed. So let's just uh, take the cap off here, take a look at that, and then we'll take a look at the lever action on this and how it seems to, uh, to work. Well, the first thing positive I have to say about this is it has a metal cap, and you know, I like that better than some kind of a plastic cap. But if we look in here, yeah, you can see that that, uh, that valve is open and if you take a look at the uh, the spring action here as I'll get you a little closer up here as you can see when you move it over well it's closed now and you cannot open that if you tried you could see how it's got a positive stop here so you have to actually lift it up bring it over to open it up and I think that's a great idea because I guess the most obvious thing would be is you really don't want this to ever kind of open up on its own plus for backup well they've actually provided you a cap and you know that's a bonus too and if we do take a look right inside there I'll open it up to show you you could see where it's like a hex in there as well so you really don't have to worry about using this to tighten it on you could actually use a hex in there to tighten it up as well I guess but I'm gonna mount it on the truck I'm just doing my oil change now, letting it drain out. And let's put this in and see. Because the first thing I thought about is, how is it going to be indexed? I mean, of course, it depends on exactly the application of your particular vehicle. But is it going to be in the pan like this, like this? Where is it going to end up when it's tightened? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten it up to the specifications I always use on my... Uh, oil drain plug to the same as on this one. So let's take a look and see how this actually is going to be clocked when it uh, is fastened down to the oil pan. Okay let's just take a look here. Just going to wipe that clean and we're going to have to go plan B because I could not find a uh, proper size to fit this so I'm just gonna have to just judge it by feel for now for 17 and uh, 17 foot-pounds and uh, we'll just tighten her up now I can see I can't get on that side okay I'll have to open the valve I guess to, uh, to get in there maybe no that's not going to work. Uh, from this side. No, that's not going to work. You know, this is not as easy as people can think to attach this. Because really, the attachment point has to actually come in here to get on there. You can't put a socket on, so you have to actually go in through here to tighten it up but I'm saying that could be a challenge for a lot of applications so I'm gonna see if I actually have a shorter wrench I could put on there well let's just put the cap back on here and
Okay, well that's it right there, and you can see it's not clocked in a in a wrong position. So, you know, I can open it up like this, and the oil will come out. The only thing is that it will probably drip all over here, and I really can't see that being that much of a problem. So, I mean, it's very hard to judge what the uh, 17 foot pounds is, but I will definitely have to get the proper hex bit to fit actually fit inside here to do it properly. But that's it right there. Well, I filled it up with oil and it's not leaking at all. And this is a type of uh, fitting a socket that you need to actually fit in there. This is 5 16 and it's just a little bit too big. So I actually had one of these which is 22 mil for my router and it seemed to tighten it up. And I think it's just going to be fine until I get the proper one and then I'll just put my torque wrench on and just torque it right up. But yeah, I was kind of worried about where the uh, position, how it would be clocked. And uh, as you could see where it ended up was in a spot that just may be, well, to tell you the truth, it could be dripping on that. But they do allow for that because you can just get uh, a hose with the proper fitting on the outside where the cap is, take the cap off, put a short little uh, hose on there, and then open up your valve. And I may do that. But the reason why I got that particular type of uh, oil train plug that automatically opens and closes when you want, and it's spring-loaded, so yeah, you have to have quite a bit of tension to lift it up and pull it off to make it actually open up. So I don't think it's going to open up on its own. Plus, it's got the backup cap, right? And it's a nice metal cap. So these guys let me know what you think because, yeah, I really, I really don't want to have to, you know, take the oil plug in and out all the time. I think that is a good idea for the money I pay. Like, I mean, I bought it on sale for under 20 bucks, and uh, I think, you know what, I'll try it. I'll have to go out there, click let it drain, click, back. And uh, for me, I think it's a good idea. You guys leave me a comment below if you had any experience with this product and uh, let me know what your long-term view is of it. Because of course, I'll be monitoring it and take a look every once in a while, make sure it's not dripping or leaking underneath. And uh, I'll let you know in the future if I have any negative things to say about it. So thanks for joining me here today. Come back again if you've never seen this channel before. Well, you're welcome to subscribe and let's have some more fun. Cheers.